Anthony drove a school bus into a house while dropping off 40 kids. Buddy, all right? You gotta get off the bus. And he knew he was completely done for. Can I? Oh my God. Look at me. Don't show but earlier that day, there was another kid in the school who had an incident where she thought she was completely untouchable. Stand Don't up. touch me. Stand up. Do not touch. Then quickly realized she was very, very wrong. Out. Go. Oh, now you want to touch me? Hey. I'm not going to hurt you. Hey. Don't give me a <laughs> Hello. What's going on? Well, I was told I'm going to be handcuffed. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what, come on out here and talk to me for a second. Well, about what? I can talk to you right here. No, no, no. Come on out here and talk to me. Yeah, so we can, we can discuss what's going on. No, no, no. Right out here. Ooh, she's oh, she's not even dressed properly. Yeah, she's not even dressed. Yeah, she has to go to Miss Skipper. I'm not a dress code. Here, come here. After being reported for disrupting the cafeteria, the young girl stood up only to sit back down, something she'd soon regret. Don't touch me. See, now you're testing me. Don't touch me. Well, come on inside and talk to me, and I won't have to lay a hand on you. You, you got it? You, you're on video right now, and right now you're disrupting everything that's going on right now. Can you hear me? Yeah. I don't want you to get in any trouble. Okay, but I'm already getting in trouble, so why don't I just enjoy my time? No, you can't do that. Because they're not because right now you're creating a disruption. You've got him here. We got her here. Okay? Come on, come on out here. She stood up yet again, only to immediately sit back down, taking advantage of the nice cop. And although she was not as bad as the next kid who cursed at every second, Let me go! she would receive a much greater punishment. Stand up. No, stand don't up. touch me. Stand up. Do not touch me. Stand up. Don't touch everybody me. out. Get everybody out. No. Get these guys out of here. Go. Out. Go. Oh, now you want to go. touch me. I'm not going to hurt you. Hey. Don't give me any shit. Now give me your hand. My shirt's coming off. What the hell is going on with you guys? Huh? What is going on with you guys? Is this what I gotta do every day now? No! No, me off! You're hurting me! Well then you probably should have thought about that before you decided to be stupid. Roll over. Stand up. Let's go. No, that's your phone right there. Why'd you throw it? Now shut your mouth Why'd and relax. You throw it? The student was a huge nuisance who riled up the nice cop and deserved to get arrested. But she tried to guilt the cop for arresting her. Trying to be helpful to you. But you had to go and do that. And this is where we're at. Nope, Well, guess what? You shouldn't have stood up and came at me. Because that's why you ended up on the ground. I got everything on video. You might not have realized what you were doing. You don't resist me. When I put my hands on you, it's for a reason. There ain't no reason for you to sit there and try to pull away and resist me. That's why you ended up on the ground. Well, you probably should have listened to what I had to say. And I was trying to be nice to you, but you didn't. This cop wasn't falling for her tricks and she was let go after a disciplinary meeting with her parents. But the next kid's behavior was even more shocking as he was barely nine years old. Yes, those five words came from a nine-year-old who wanted to go home before school had barely started and to prove just how serious he was, he would assault the officers. Thankfully, the kid had a terrible aim as there wasn't much the officer or staff could do, for now at least, except damage control.
Although it seemed like a mild issue, this kid was wild. And while things looked infinitely worse for the adults in the next case, All right, no. off me, bro, I can't stop. Stop. these adults were taking a literal beating and were going to do whatever it took to maintain the peace, even though it involved arresting a nine year old. So you come down. This is where we're at. He can do that because he's on the road. Just calm me down for a second. Chill. Stop it. Sit up. Chill. Chill. Just relax. With the kid in cuffs, it was time to calm him down. But you already have a perfect idea of how that went. You're throwing things. You're putting everyone Shut in the up, up. You need to hear it. Ew. It's okay, I get that a lot. Ooh, We're trying to figure out fucking? why you're so upset. Ow. Stop pulling. Stop! Stop pulling. Ow. Stop picking at my hand. you would be in very big trouble for hitting a police officer. Shut up! Just letting you know, the older you get, it's going to be very harder for you to be making these behaviors. <sighs> With no progress, the kid was released and taken to the guidance counselor. But to ruin the somewhat happy ending, the parents of the nine-year-old eventually sued the police and the city for using unnecessary and unreasonable force. But it was going to be hard for the next parent to sue the officers because her daughter was trespassing in the school. So she's walking wherever she wants. She's on the phone with mom. And she's suspended. Okay, where are you and trying to get her to? Will, I, I want her in Lippa's office. At this point, now she needs to go to the phone office. That's right. Jasmine wanted to get into school while suspended. A strange request, but the officer wasn't having it. Already said, all right, they've already said you're suspended. So if you go in that building, I'm going to put you in in mind that Jasmine is suspended from school. So not only did she validate her suspension by fighting with a cop in front of staff, but she also gave them reasons to permanently expel her. Y'all are so unnecessary. Y'all are all in my That was unnecessary as I was walking the lunch. Now I have to put me on the ground, bitch. That's the real serious stuff. I got one to say. The 16-year-old was now cuffed, but there was still more to the drama. Shortly after, her mother arrived at the school, and something strange was noticeable. Let's off and leave with your mom, or do you want him to go with you? You want to take him? 
What about your neck? Did they take it off? Yeah, they're gonna make you take all that off. I'll give it to mom. You got some inklets? I can't take off my Okay, I got you. You're not gonna fall. Is that it? Yeah, that one can't come off. Okay, fair enough. Just gonna make sure you don't have anything in your pockets, okay? I think there's a mint in there. A mint? There's two of them. A what? Right. A mint. Like a tic-tac or a mint? Jasmine's demeanor suddenly changed, and the soft-spoken student was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer. But there was nothing soft-spoken about this next student suspected of bringing marijuana into a school. You have the odor of marijuana coming from your bag. My bag? Yes, I can smell it right here, strong. That is reasonable suspicion. Okay. So here, oh you let, let it go. Oh. As is the theme of this video, Demarcus refused a search of his bag, and a very fierce struggle began. Just check it, okay? Oh. Stop! Stop him! Oh. Demarcus, stop fighting him! Demarcus, stop fighting! Demarcus, look at me. No, please, stop fighting. Just stop. Okay, stand up for me. Come on, we just fuck. Come on, come on, come on. You're not gonna kick me. I ain't kicking me. What the fuck are you talking about? There you go, bro. No, we'll stay just like this. Demarcus was clearly too hot headed for the cop, so another officer arrived and they took him into the squad car. From the struggle, it was likely that the student had a huge stash of marijuana in his bag, but a search would leave the officers and staff in complete shock. The officer checked the bag, and there was no stash of marijuana. This was very confusing considering the terrifyingly long struggle and the obvious smell of marijuana. Yeah, I smell it big time. Oh, yeah, right. We were asking him just to go into the office. 
and they were going to do the search. And he kept saying, no, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. It's, it's, it's awning somewhere. You can smell it now. Kicked the shit out of my shin. He come down and scraped it. That's when I picked him up, put him on top of the desk because it was he was freaking. Well, I could smell it when there was the altercation in the hallway. That really wasn't an altercation. After a more thorough search, the officer's disbelief forced them to find a reason for the kid's behavior. Oh my god. That's it. He smelled like marijuana. Yes, because it's real. We were just gonna search him. That was it. And he would not. And he, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. And it was because he was going to dump the cigars. I mean, unless he got it under his junk. Yes. It was over nothing. Like, I'm like, calm the fuck down. He's I told trying him, I was like, not just, to. Just come in with yes. me, please. That's all I want you to do. Yes. And then he started to, like, he was going to go run to the bathroom. And I grabbed him, and that was it. That was it. You tried. You tried to hide it. DeMarcos was charged with resisting arrest, but this was later dismissed in juvenile court. Unsurprisingly, his family requested compensatory and punitive damages not to exceed $1 million. The case is still ongoing with the family expecting favorable outcomes, but Anthony had no such expectations after crashing a school bus into a house. Is anybody in the bus? Yes. Yeah. No, no, there's a man that he's okay. He confused. He tried to start the Any kids in the bus? Didn't see any kids Check in the bus. Check on it. I see if anybody's in the house for me. He's trying to start the fucking bus. Can you get in it at all? Central, start the FD. Might be uh, driving. Yeah, see if you can get that open. Three keep during her house. I think he's okay. Buddy! Oh, God. Yo, you all right, man? Yeah, I got the back open. All right. We got one minivan into a pole, no injuries. A school bus into a pole. Give me a minute. We need to build the inspector. I'll also need a visual in traffic. Oh, God. Sorry, body cam. Sorry. Oh, God. Buddy, you all right? You got to get off the bus for me. You all right, man? Oh. Buddy, look at me. Look at me. Please officer, you alright? Buddy, you alright? Can you look at me? <laughs> look at me. Any kids? Nah, negative, just the driver. Is he alright? <laughs> uh, yeah, for now. Let me know. Can I? Oh my god. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Can you look at me? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> What's your name, man? What's your name? Look, look, look. Look at me. What's your name? What is your name, buddy? We gotta get you off this bus, okay? Can you follow me off the bus? Can you follow me off the bus? Yes. Alright. Can you go out this way? We're gonna go off the back of the bus. We gotta get off the bus, alright? Okay. Alright? Oh my God, man! <laughs> what is that? You yeah. love? All right. Oh. oh my God! You have a uh, the rest of the driving as well. Oh my God! Six six drivers Ready? coming out now. One, two, I'm just going to trouble check. It's empty. The driver was now out of the vehicle, and the officer confirmed that there were no kids in the vehicle. The road was a wide distance from the house, so the officers needed to know how exactly the accident occurred. What happened, Anthony? I was trying to avoid something on the road, and it just went. Everything just went. It just went the other way. What's that? I was trying to avoid something on the road and everything just, it, it just happened so fast. Okay, what were you trying to avoid? It was something, I don't, I don't know what it was. It was something on the road. Right. I, 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 Hold on, leave your phone, leave your phone for a minute. We gotta, I, I wanna make sure you're okay, all right? I am okay, I gotta okay. call, I gotta, just, ca I gotta call my Okay, you don't have to wife. call anybody right now. Just leave this here for wife. me right now, okay? I gotta call my wife. All right. So what was in the roadway? I gotta call my wife. I gotta call my wife. 
Okay. Anthony, can you tell me what was in the roadway? Sit up for me. Sit up for me. Anthony, sit up for me, buddy. What was in the roadway? <laughs> there were no kids on the bus at the time, right? No. I didn't see anybody on the bus when I, you know, when I was in there. But all right. So what? What was in the roadway? Was it? I mean, did a car swerve in front of you, or? Six six six. Did you reach out to the homeowner? With a refusal to mention what he was trying to avoid, Anthony was losing credibility with the officers, especially considering that there was an odor of alcohol from him. I got a, I got some odor, but not a ton yet. I definitely got some some sort of odor though. Okay. Um, Did you see anything in the bus up there? I no, no, I didn't. But what he said next made his claims even more suspicious. Car short stopped me, okay. and I had to swerve out the way. Everything just happened so <laughs> Anthony's story suddenly shifted, and he now remembered that he was avoiding a car in front of him. Something as foundational as that isn't likely to be forgotten, but Anthony only doubled down on his statement. For years with this company, and like I said, these cars, these people, they like to act like a holes. So I guess this particular situation, this car felt like it wanted to shortstop me. And I had to swerve out the way and then just everything just went chaotic after that. And the bus is really not, these buses are really not usually functional how they should be. But I know how to manage these buses, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been working for the company for so long, I know how to manage the buses. And it is... Everything just went haywire. Everything just happened so fast. It happened so fast. Anthony blamed his employers and the bus and somehow managed to praise his driving and bus management skills, even though he had driven through a house. Since there was an odor coming from him, the officers wanted to do field sobriety tests, but Anthony had several excuses for them. I understand. I understand. I understand that. I'm still shaking from this. I understand. Just do the best you can, okay? I understand the circumstances and I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yes. I've never been good at one foot balances, just to let you know. Yeah, that's okay. I've never been good at that. So like I said, everything. I'm, I'm going to try my best. Okay. Just take your hands out your pockets for me, put your arms to your side, just like that. After laying them all out, Anthony began the tests, but the results weren't very surprising. Count out loud. All right. Turn around for me. Turn around. Chance way back. You're being arrested for driving while intoxicated, okay? You understand that? Okay. We're gonna do. We'll do. We'll do breath tests, okay? Do I smell the alcohol on you? Your tests weren't that great, and uh, and your eyes were even worse. Okay. Do you have anything? Anthony later took a breathalyzer test, which showed a 0.04% blood alcohol level. He faces multiple charges, including driving while intoxicated and endangering the welfare of a child. If you like this video, YouTube thinks you'll like these next videos even more.